Hi, I'm Don Shockley, and for this month's video demonstration, I'm going to do my take on an oyster dish that I had at a restaurant in New Orleans called Mosca's, and it's famous, it's been there for forever. And you know you're getting close to Mosca's because you can smell the garlic when you get to be about a half a mile away. The food there is just phenomenal. And Oysters Mosca is one of their signature dishes. It's a baked oyster with breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese and lots of garlic and white wine. It's just out of this world. And this month we're going to pair with our Mocha Vera Chardonnay. It's a Chardonnay from Puglia. And it should go together very, very well. And as always, we're going to start off opening a bottle of wine. Because as you know, my mantra is first you marinate the chef. So here we go. So this Chardonnay is from Puglia. The Mocha Vera brothers took over the winery from their father several years ago and started making their wine a little bit more New World style than their dad did. So this is a very light, crisp, refreshing Chardonnay. It's got good acidity to it and should go very, very well with this dish. Actually, it has a lot of flavor, of almost like a green apple when you taste it. So it's just beautiful and I think it goes great with the green label as well. Mm, it's so good and it's gonna go great with this dish. So we have our Milka Vera Chardonnay. And now we get to start our oysters Mosca. So any good Italian dish, of course, we're going to start off with lots of olive oil. Let the pan get hot over here. Put in some olive oil. If you can, you want to use an extra virgin olive oil and buy the most expensive one that you can afford because it's one of those few places where the more you spend, the better the quality that you get. A lot of the extra virgin olive oils, if you buy a very inexpensive one, they will be of questionable origin, origin, and they may or may not actually be an extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to add a little bit of onion to this. Let that start simmering. I'm going to crush about four cloves of garlic here. Get them started. And if you smash them like this, it makes it very easy to get the pot out of the shell. And it makes it easy to cut them up and we're going to leave the garlic in big pieces because that's the way they would do it down there. And it's going to smell so good when it gets going here. And it's a very simple dish. There's very few ingredients to it. We've got oysters, onions, lemon juice, a little bit of white wine. I'm going to finish off with some breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese in the oven. Very easy dish and oysters are just coming into the prime of their season. So this should be a great dish for this time of year. We're very fortunate here on the Gulf Coast to have a wonderful supply of oysters coming in. You know, and it's interesting, oysters used to be a poor man's food. They were very inexpensive. And the working class would eat them for lunch. Well, now then they've gotten very popular and very expensive. And of course, you can get oysters from the East Coast, the West Coast, the Gulf Coast. You can pick your bay that you want them from. So. So these are Gulf Coast oysters I've got. My onions are going. I'm going to add some garlic. A lot of garlic. And I've got oysters that were shucked here. And when they shuck them, they keep the oyster juice in there. And that's a big part of this dish, is we want to keep as much of that oyster flavor in there as we can. I'm going to go in here. So this should be about 24 oysters or so. And I'm adding the liquid as well. Let them start heating up just a little bit. And since that comes to a simmer, I'm going to add some lemon juice. And I have the pit of the lemon there as well. I've zested the lemon in there. The lemon zest adds a little bit of extra flavor to it beyond just what the straight lemon juice would add to it. And it's absolutely wonderful. So I got about three tablespoons of lemon juice with the zest. Put that in there. I'm going to add some chopped parsley. Three or four tablespoons of chopped parsley. Let it come up to a nice simmer. Then I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. And these are just store-bought breadcrumbs. If you make your own, that's great. But the store-bought variety works just as well. And I'm going to use this to actually thicken up the 
sauce. Makes a nice thickening agent, adds lots of flavor as well. About three quarters to a one cup of the breadcrumbs. Give a little bit of a stir here, it should get nice and thick. Then I'm going to pour it into a casserole dish, top it with some Parmesan cheese, and let it finish off in the oven. So here we have it. Go into a casserole dish with it. Well, you can smell the garlic. Smells absolutely wonderful. Top it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese here. And I'm going to throw it under the broiler for just about five minutes. And when we come back, we'll have our oysters mozca. Okay, so we've had these under the broiler now, so I'm going to bring them out. So here we have them. You can see it's got a nice crusty top on there. Pour that Parmesan cheese and the breadcrumbs are brown. I'm going to serve it with a little bit of toasted ciabatta here just so you can soak up all that goodness that's left in there. So this is our take on Oysters Mosca from Mosca's Restaurant in New Orleans with our Mocha Vera Chardonnay. Thank you so much. I'm Don Shock with Martin Lucy Imports. Be sure and check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching today.